Hi, my name is Nabil Ali and I'm running for the SRC in 2016. My experience as a sex appeal editor-in-chief in 2015 exposed me to the tremendous power the students have in their ability to enact change. This power, I believe, will be used in 2016 by the SRC and myself as I intend to do what the SRC was meant to represent. 2016. Rise. Hi, my name is Tashri Kamin, and I have always believed that UCT is about more than just getting your degree. It is about getting to know yourself. I have always been passionate about challenging myself beyond an academic scope. While UCT finds itself immersed in a range of extramural activities and in different cultures, I believe that there are still barriers to entry present in these spaces. As your representative, I will do everything in my power to ensure that UCT students not only get the opportunity to live a complete university lifestyle, but to also enjoy this lifestyle. I will promote transformation in sport and also interrogate academic and non-academic um, support structures. Vote for me. Number two on the ballot, number one in our hearts. My name is Samantha Baker Baker, candidate number three. The SRC, a body of students founded by students for students, is a commendable principle, but I want to make this formation a reality, not in principle, but in action. Students come first and that is non-negotiable. It is not enough to want complete transformation of an institution. In order to drive adequate transformation, the SRC first needs to transform. When we say all students matter, I want that to include students that exist within matters of race, international students, and students who carry their legitimate frustrations with them in silence. Real concerns exist such as the lack of universal experience and inconsistent policies. I am not here to sell my personal agenda and tell you what I can do for you. In fact, I'm here to ask you what needs to be done and get it done. Finally, we can get UCT to rise. I believe UCT has the potential to be better. I believe that with the right kind of leaders and an effective team, UCT can be everything it's promised to be. I have personally experienced UCT student governance and their support structures and have found them to be very inefficient. There doesn't seem to be a link between the students and the faculty. To address these issues, you need to look at two very important factors, awareness and accountability. Students need to be aware of the power that they have to ensure fair representation. They also need to be aware of the mechanisms that are in place to support them. Accountability, there needs to be more accountability on like, the level of student representatives. They need to be interested in more than their CVs, and they actually need to be interested in bettering the lives of their students. Vote Louise Bespia, SRC 2016, you deserve better. Under the banner of SASCO and with the help of my peers, I aspire to create an equal, engaged, and active UCT community. I believe that change must manifest by reigniting the voices of students. The main issues I am advocating for are transformation in all spheres of the university. So this means creating a truly Afropolitan university and changes in curriculum, social, and cultural practices on campus. Secondly, I believe that workers' rights must be included in this. So the revoking of outsourcing completely and bettering working conditions in general. A progressive and transformed UCT community is attainable. Vote SASCO 6 and vote candidate number 5. Greetings dear UCT community, I am Snot Olopoi, candidate number 6, and I'm running for SRC with the intention of undertaking transformation within undergrad academics. Particularly focusing on curriculum transformation as I believe that the dogma within the paradigm of institution has to be and it must be responsive to the social, political and economic dynamics and the, and the world today rather than that of basic risk. Furthermore, also plan to undertake a psychoacademic support as I believe this is something which is underdone and misunderstood by this institution. The EDU has a helplessly felt in this regard. And lastly, I plan to put into question our student retention policy as I believe in resulting systematic exclusion. Hence, with this, I ask you to please invest in me so that I can serve you. I am here for you, mandated by you. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Gloria Chikanda and I want to represent you for SRC 2016. My policy, my policy goals are centered around international student. Firstly, fighting for international student uh, fees review and clarity. Secondly, integrating international students um, on, in the discourses around uh, UCT as well as in residences and around campus. Thirdly, I want to fight for more funding and scholarships for international students. And finally, I want to fight for and encourage the education of international students' rights and duties um, living in, as students living in South Africa. Vote for me, number seven. My name is Eddie Dos Santos. I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm in my final year. And I've been an active member of the residence system since 2011. 
having served on the Partner House Committee in 2012 and currently working as a sub-warden at Forest Hill, one of UCT's largest residences. I know the system, I've seen the gaps, and I believe I have what it takes to implement change as a res coordinator. Residents need functional computer labs and libraries. Students in transit should not be left out of O-week activities, and students should be allowed to check into res, given a grace period to organize their finances with dignity. This is just a small taste of what's in store if you lend me your vote. So be bold, vote Eddie. The only change we believe in is the one we feel. At UCT, we forget about the deeply conservative undercurrent we've left behind. Transformation cannot preach the choir. We need to claim your UCT. As an experienced member of student governance, my aim on SRC is to listen to students, to engage with student issues, and to interrogate institutional discrimination, to restructure fees, to install plug points, manage student queries, and affect public discourse on redress and social justice through non-opt-out student engagement. Vote Marcus Gavronsky. Vote Fee. My name is Minnie Adebe and I recognize the U in UCT. I'm running for SRC on two main points, financial exclusion and parking on campus. Firstly, I served on the SRC's fundraising subcommittee and helped raise the most amount ever for students who have been or threatened to be financially excluded. Students' opportunities shouldn't be limited just because of their finances. Secondly, I want to address parking on campus. I want to ensure that there's a sufficient parking for all students on campus. I have already met with the Executive Director of Property and Services to discuss solutions for this current problem. Vote Mini Hadebe, candidate number 10. Include me, UCT. Vote Dasso. My name is Sinead Johnson and I'm running for SRC candidate number 11. I have been in leadership positions throughout my UCT career and therefore I know I'm ready to represent you. As a future health professional, I'm passionate about people and the, and the spaces we find ourselves in. I will be focusing on three main points, satellite campuses, security and academic exclusion. In terms of satellite campuses, to ensure that there is a connection between upper and satellite campuses and also to increase SRC's visibility. In terms of security, to increase security on both upper and satellite campuses. In terms of academic exclusion, to, ex to explore more options for academic support. Once again, my name is Sinead Johnson, I am candidate number 11, include me, UCT, vote DASO. Hi, my name is Taylor Carsten, I'm candidate number 12, and I wish to see a university that is not only safe and inclusive, but one where all students' voices are heard. I have served on the Health Science Student Council this year, and I wish to see safety and security go up, on and off campus, because for many of us, UCT is our second home. Satellite campuses also need better inclusion. This includes the bettering of jammy systems to and from the campuses, especially the problematic hitting jammy. And finally, financial exclusion. The SRC has raised the most money this year, and yet it is still not enough. I'm going to address this at policy level and hold management accountable. I'm driven, determined, and devoted to change. Vote Taylor Carson, candidate number 12. Include me, UCT. Vote Dasso. Hello, my name is Motero Lemoza, and I'm candidate number 13, part of the SASCO 6. Why you should vote the SASCO 6 in the 2016 SRC elections? It's simple. SASCO delivers. Three things that I'm bringing to the table is one, jammy bus system, two, the SRC's constitution, and three, safety and security of students. It's really simple. At SASCO, we've been delivering for the past five years, six years, since 1991, we have delivered. So it's simple. Vote SASCO 6 in your 2016 SRC elections. Restoring dignity since 1991. Hi, everyone. My name is Mapoli Denje Fortunate, and I have identified four major challenges that I wish to tackle. Number one, financial exclusion. Number two, residence system that are usually of shortage for first year students. Number three, academic exclusion. And number four, UCT working protaliates workers who are often disadvantaged by the working system. I would implement that if you vote for me. Thank you. I come as one, I stand as 27,000 UCT students. Firstly, accountability. I plan on adding more accountability structures, such as SRC levels going to satellite campuses and addressing student issues, and setting up a what have we done page. Secondly, financial exclusion. I plan on raising funds um, to help the bailouts in the crisis fund, and also creating sustainable bursary expo. 
family transformation needs to be tackled at grassroots level. I plan on advocating for transformation talk during all week so that we can minimize misguided information about people's race, religion, and sexualities. So stand for a student that will stand for you. Vote Zipa Majova, candidate number 15. Thank you. Running for the SRC means that we need to be representative of the student body. As such, part of my campaign will be focusing on making student governance far more accessible to all students at the university. Therefore, focusing on bridging the gap and the disconnect between us as students and the university. I'm hardworking, I'm loyal, and I'm dedicated, and I strive to achieve the very best at everything that I do. My name is Nal Maginas, and I'm running for the SRC of 2016, and I am bringing governance to you. My experience as a black queer woman student of a university undergoing such shifts as UCT is informs the need for an inclusive, respectful and safe environment to be advocated for. I advocate for UCT to be a safe space for all silenced identities and marginalised experiences. This includes but isn't limited to addressing LGBTIAQ plus experiences in our residences and on campus and tirelessly coordinating students with the structures related to the processes that address exclusion. My objective is to promote mindfulness and action that truly supports equity and diversity on our campuses. I am Ntupula Masipa, candidate 17. Make the change that matters. When I think of why I'm running for the SRC, three themes inform my decision. Pragmatism, effective leadership, and furthering a transformation agenda across the board. Now, more than ever before, we need to restore the dignity in student governance. When we think about the academic and financial exclusion rates, one doesn't have to think too hard that we need some level of transformation and reform in those policies to save students who are financially and academically constrained at this institution. Issues like the bailout fund need diversified funding streams in order for them to be effective to the most students. Vote for Orisang Moseli, candidate number 18, for effective, pragmatic and committed service. Vote for the SASCO 6 to restore the dignity of student governance. As a black woman who has come to experience discrimination on the basis of her race and gender, I've come to understand that the marginalization of a group of people is not one that is mutually exclusive to me. My name is Nukolan Daga and I am candidate number 20 running under V for SRC. I believe that the time for an SRC that is free of heteronormativity, institutional racism, classism, ableism and misogyny can no longer go unheard. The time for an SRC that is transparent, legitimate and across the board representative. Vote for me to be your candidate for 2016. Claim your UCT. My name is Busisile Numara and I'm running for SRC under SASCA. The main aims that I'm trying to bring to SRC is to ensure that there's accessible information to all students in this university, to make sure that there's a fair representation of all students, including the satellite campuses, because they are often forgotten by the student governance model, by student governance. The thirdly is to make sure that this mobile SRC is available throughout the whole entire year to all students extending to, to the satellite campuses to also ensure that there's a transparency and accountability in the society's funding and also in the sports funding in UTT. Vote SASCA SITS, vote for Bussi Sierra Mother, candidate number 21. Hi, my name is Nigel Patel and I'm running for SRC because I want to serve you. I'm running on a triple vision policy. That's inclusion, exclusion and revolution. Inclusion. When I'm on your SRC, I want to make sure student substructures are not only running, but running efficiently, whether it be through your class rep, student assembly, or me when I'm on your SRC. Exclusion. Financial. Last year, the SRC Assistance Fund helped more students than ever. When I'm on your SRC, I want to see those numbers go up. And finally, revolution. Transformation. You who are watching this is more than a vote and a student number. You need an SRC that recognises that. Include me, UCT. Vote DASO. Nigel Patel, candidate number 22. Your existence at this university is not welcome. And the only way to change that is by taking action now. As your representative, I will champion your needs above and beyond all else. I'll do this firstly by having a listening campaign to find out the true needs of the students. Secondly, by interrogating this versus exclusionary aspects in their policy. Thirdly, by increasing student representation in RACs and teaching selection committees. And fourthly, by reevaluating the SRC portfolios so that sectors like the international student sector are no longer over undervalued and overlooked. Don't let the SRC serve itself. Let the SRC serve you. 
I'm Ryan Duncan Prithraj, Candidate 23. Vote V, claim your UCT. When I first came to UCT, I was forced to interrogate what it means to be black, more so what it means to be a black woman in a society that privileges cisgendered, heterosexual, able-bodied white males. And although this reality seems to be bleak, I have never given up on the possibility of change. And so if I'm on SRC, I will ensure that UCT's vision for transformation actively involves the resident sector. I'll also implement a toiletry fund that will be accessible to needy students and lastly increase CPS visibility with increased focus on Nisbet Gardens and its surrounds. Vote for me, vote for active governance, vote for change. Good day UCT. My name is Ntebohan Sukhone, candidate number 26, running under the proud banner of Sasuke UCT. In running for SRC, I intend to do the following. Restoring the dignity of students by constantly engaging with UCT with regards to the admission policy, especially with the MBT. Restoring the dignity of students by creating a constant form of engagement between the SRC and student housing residences on combating the issue of overbooking. I am passionate about fighting for students, especially for those who are here at UCT and also for those who intend to come to UCT. Hence, I say, I represent you, I am you. Thank you. Minority voices have been disregarded for far too long. There has been a vacuum in student leadership that culminated in students engaging in protests around campus. Students want to be heard. Students want inf transformative inclusivity. Academic, financial and social exclusions are important issues that need to be addressed. More so, students need a candidate that can help prevent these. Issues of intersectionality and mental health are not seen as a resultant cause to have the above mentioned exclusion. And that is problematic. That's why I'm running for SRC. Vote for Gulilani Sikiani, candidate number 27, running under the Sasko banner. Vote for a leadership for social change. As an openly queer woman at UCT, I know oppression. I also know that running for SRC is in and of itself a privilege, and I know that many people can't afford to be able to do that. I want to represent you, the ones that can't. If elected onto SRC, I want to make student governance accessible to more day students by making more events on days and in, on weekends when public transport is accessible to campus. I want to interrogate the exclusionary aspects of the NISFIS policies. I want to interrogate the exclusionary aspects of the MBTs and try and get rid of those. I want to make sanitary wear available freely across campus. Vote Natasha Skarek, candidate number 28. Claim your UCT. Vote B. What's good, UCT? We're the Trans Collective. My name is Sandy Lendelu and I'm candidate number 19. What's good, UCT? My name is Tato Pule and I'm candidate number 24. The Trans Collective is an organization of trans, genderqueer, and intersex students at the University of Cape Town. And the question we're posing is that who else can lead and add content to decolonization but for poor, black, queer, trans women? We are offering ourselves up to serve on the UCT SRC to give content to decolonization through centering the politics of the personal and heeding Audre Lorde's call for intersectionality. See, the problems at UCT are complex and there's no easy solution. But what we can promise is our commitment to listen, to advocate and to work to finding the answers. Not only for the betterment of the university, but for our very survival.